Hello guys, welcome back to Easy One Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for Easy One Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the support reaction for this cantilever beam. This cantilever beam has been loaded with inclined load of 10 kN. And this inclined load makes an angle of 60 degree with the beam. So we are going to find out the horizontal reaction, the vertical reaction and the movement that takes this cantilever beam. So this is a fixed support. So fixed support can take the horizontal load. So I can represent it by Rx. And this is a fixed support. It can also take the vertical load. And it can also take the moment M. So we are going to find out all these reactions Rx, Ry and moment M. That how much moment can transfer to the support due to this load. So this load is inclined load. So we have to make it two components. This is inclined load. So one component will be the vertical component of this. This will be the vertical component. And there will be also an horizontal component of this load. So the horizontal component, if I represent this is by if, this is an if load acting on this beam. So the horizontal component will be the if cos of theta, while the vertical component will be the if sine of theta. Now, if we know that it is 10 kN and theta is 60 degree. So if I put the value, if is 10 and cos theta, cos theta is 60 degree. So it comes out to be 5 kN. So 5 kN is acting horizontally on this beam. Now the inclined, the vertical component of this inclined load will be if sine theta. So if is 10 kN and sine theta, theta is 60 degree. So by multiplying these two, I got 8.6 kN. So 8.6 kN is acting vertically on this beam. We just find out the component of this inclined load. So now after finding out the two components, the vertical and horizontal, we can now find out the support reactions. If there is no other support that can resist the vertical or horizontal load, so the only vertical load will be taken by this support and also the horizontal load will be only taken by this support. If there is no other support, hinge support or the roller support, there is only one support. So all the horizontal load that is 5 kN will be taken by this Rx. So Rx will be equal to the 5 kN. Similarly, Ry will be equal to the 8.6 kN because there is no other support that can take this vertical load. So we cannot distribute this vertical load into other parts. Maybe if there is another other support, so we can divide or take the summation of movement at any point to find out the load at this point. But there is only one support, so the whole vertical load will be taken by this Ry. And the whole horizontal load has been taken by this Rx. Now the question is how to find the moment M. To find out the moment, which is unknown, we know that the moment can be found out by this formula, which is equal to the force multiplied with the moment arm. Now, so to find out the moment, M is equal to the force into moment arm. M is equal to the force. This force is 8.6 kN. Multiplying it with the R, R is the moment arm. So moment arm is the distance from this 8.6 up to this Point. Let's suppose this is a point. So the distance from this a point up to this load is 4 meter because the load acts at 4 meter distance from the support. So it is 4 meter. So this is the moment. We cannot take this moment from this load because this load is going through the this fixed support. So there will be no moment created by this load. So that's why the moment here is there will be no other moment from the horizontal load because this load acts through this point A so there is no moment arm for this load. That's why the force is there, 5 kN but there is no moment arm so when there is zero moment arm so if you multiply with the force we got zero 
because zero multiple zero is the momentum and force is the five so we got zero from this factor so we have only moment from this vertical load which is equal to the if you multiply these two we got 34.4 kilonewton meter so this is the moment acting here at this support hope you guys understand how to find out the support reactions when there is any inclined load acting on the beam and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily seven engineering videos thank you for watching our video